ahead, Mahira, you start. Okay, good morning, everyone. So uh, I'm going to talk about the blend of goddesses that I am, I discover within me the most. So by learning about uh, so, uh, all, of, all these goddess archetypes uh, you know, throughout the whole semester and comparing the pre-modern and today's era, the combination of Greek goddesses that I identify with me the most has to be Artemis uh, and Athena. So my thesis statement is, I can relate with most of their attributes because of each of the goddesses has an urge to do something great and releases some kind of uh, motivation or energy. So how has Art at Artemis attributes and dark side impacted me? So I have the <clears throat> qualities of Athena like determination, independent spirited, and uh, I want to pursue my sacred passion that all, I, all of this I've gotten from my parents. Like my parents have always encouraged me to develop these qualities and not to compromise on anything. I became a kind of rebel against men because his story that when I was in school, there's a boy in my school who used to bully me for not being fair skin. Also, there was a home tutor who used to come to teach me. It was a male who used to indirectly tell me that uh, you were more beautiful when you were as a when you were a kid because at that time you were a fair baby. That affected me so much that I lost my self esteem and self confidence. And uh, I became a rebel against such kind of men who have such kind of narrow-minded uh, personality. Like, then, I, like Artemis, like Bolan said, I became a virgin, no longer willing to take time and mental effort to attract ma male. I was not a good student until grade 10, but after that, I was just determined towards my studies and unintentionally ignore, ignored my uh, toast people. I have an angry, frustrated nature like Ar Artemis, like when I was growing up, the small thing used to pisses me off. And then uh, I used to feel that when my opinions are not respected, I instantly got mad. I think this all started because of the inferiority complex and out of bulliness that started uh, in my school. I became short tempered and I used to lag behind everything because everyone not used to listen to me because of my short tempered nature. But I think now I'm uh, slowly realizing that uh, this, won't, uh, this won't be a good thing. Uh, I have to control my extreme emotions and I'm working on that. In what way has Athena possessed me? Similar to Athena, I have a beautiful relation with my father. Uh, uh, normally fathers doesn't express their, their emotion, they just unconventionally does things. But compared to others and cultural backgrounds, in Bangladesh, what I have seen, my father is really jolly and loving, and he can do literally anything for me and my sister. Um, my father, uh, Athena's uh, attributes are she is goddess of wisdom. She is mature. Uh, my father has also inspired me to cultivate this kind of Athena attributes like calmness, matureness, forecasted nature, and logical decision making. I want to be a protector like my father because my father is like a role model for me. He is very, he's very loyal, genuine, and uh, everyone in work also likes him. I have a strong voice to present my uh, likes and without any hesitation, I will stand on my phone if something is wrong. My father has teacher, taught me to do all those things. Again, um, again, I like Athena, I have found myself cultivating a, a good management ability. Uh, I was engaged with management activities in my school. I used to arrange functions. I used to love that work. I, have a, I, I was a commerce background student in school, so I was deeply interested in business studies and wanted to be successful business owner in future by utilizing wisdom and great strategic power like Athena. Uh, I don't like to do dominate others. I don't like to intimate others, rather I like to be more democratic while working with groups. I like to help women. As I said, I want to be a business woman. I want to help the rural, uh, rural majority in my, uh, in my country. I, I think they are a, a lot of in number and they need a lot of help. Likewise, our country will also progress.
as a kid, which goddess archetype was I, and now which one am I? I was possessed with Artemis up to my early age. After becoming, after that, I become more like Athena, which I think will be more beneficial for me in pursuing my goals. So in my teen, 15, 16, I was like moody, grumpy, but now I'm more like Athena. I have a dream to be a successful businesswoman. In future, I want to have a partner also, but such a relationship where there's a freedom, mutual respect, understanding, etc. I haven't thought of that I want kids or not. In, in case I have any, I want to them to be warriors like Athena. In the end, I think I'm more biased towards Athena goddess and I want to remain possessed by her. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for listening. Very good. Okay, why don't you unscreen share? Okay, why don't you go back to the, there we go. Now, let's take a few questions. We can take two or three questions. Does anybody have a question or comment? I thought that was very good, Mahira. That was a great way to start. You set a good example for everyone. Um, anybody have any comments or questions for Mahira? Yeah, Mahira, the presentation was so good. Like I was looking how to do it. Like I like now I feel like I got a flow. <laughs> Thank you, Mahira. It was great. Okay. Thank you so much, Rahima. Anybody else? Okay. Well, I, I think that was a good example of how um, uh, Athena wants to help people, but she's not tolerant necessarily. She doesn't put up with people's weaknesses, right? That's right. But she does want to help, right? And you want to go help these women, but um, you don't want to, you're not going to put up with whining, right? Um, and you know, you're just going to keep motivating them. And that sounds right. That sounds right about right to me, what it probably how it would turn out. But I, Mahira, what year are you at AUW? I'm UG1. Okay, so have you spent any time on campus? No, ma'am. I went there for giving my entrance examination, but uh, I didn't spend time there. Then it was COVID. Well, okay, yeah. so you really ought to realize that the atmosphere that they want to create on that campus is something that you could really flourish in, um, you know, because you don't worry about the male gaze and you don't, um, as long as the students don't pick on each other and compete, but you could be a real leader. You could be such a leader at making sure that all the women support each other and they have a sisterhood. Does that make sense, Mahira? Yes, ma'am. Because you could anticipate, first of all, you have to um, actually imagine that it could be really good if, and if you make it good, but then you also have to know that you, you might run into some women that don't get it and they fall back into these old habits. And if you can sort of spot that and figure out how they could, you know, realize that they're doing this and they don't want to do it because it's your one chance to create a climate where you don't have that kind of stuff going on. So it's kind of, I would say, be prepared because when you walk onto that campus, you know, you're at this busy street in the city, you walk in the gate and it's just like a totally different world. So just take advantage of it. I, you could be such a leader, Mahira. And there, uh, there's uh, women's empowerment groups and there's business women's groups and all sorts of stuff. So I'm sure you'll do really well. Um, so Trin, do you have something? Yes, Professor, can you hear me? Yep. Yes, I will, yep, I will assess my screen now. Can you see my screen, Professor? We're getting there. There we go. Yes. Give me a second. Okay, so hello, everyone, and um, hello, Professor. 
Uh, good morning, I hope you're all doing well. So today I'm going to do my presentation about uh, the goddess, the goddess archetype and how it's related. Um, so I so I found three goddess archetypes most natural for me uh, when I was born up to now in the late adolescence. So that is Aphrodite goddess, uh, Demeter goddess and Artemis goddess. So here we go, these are some key sentences that I make citation to describe each goddess that is most naturally related to me. Um, first one, the Aphrodite goddess. So her passion for art planted to the seeds for my psychic connection between my love for art and the environmental movement. Not a major Aphrodite, but a rather superficial adolescent like crazy, gossip, uh, Gossipy Aphrodite, my choice to turn toward serious thing was a conscious decision freely made and not forced on me by outside circumstances. And about Demon the Goddess, I cite from you recognize the vulnerability of babies and young children and claim the seed of nurturing that every mother must have the right to achieve or try to adhood. And the last one is about Artemis Goddess. So right. Artemis within human culture, humans need you to stay motivated to do all the work that they, they need to do. They would never have the energy to go based on reproducing and doing whatever else is necessary to survive. You provide courage when a mother face dangers, physical and psycho psychological. And here we go. <laughs> my childhood in Aphrodite. So let me tell you um, a bit about my background be because um, before the Aphrodite archetype is running, running inside of me. So I, my childhood was a nightmare living in a very controlled environment. I mostly was at home all the time studying for my parents' high expectation. They had make me sit and do my homework, even just getting me to program my knowledge as much as I could. Uh, unlike my friends, my childhood was set a robot because everything would kept on the right track. I could not really enjoy playing with friends because I'm not able to free myself without studying during the day. They constantly told me that I had to be an independent and educated girl if I want happiness and things kept in my mind since I was a little girl. And having too high expectations for my parents' education, which caused me to, to, to be repeatedly spanked when I let them down. And my personality uh, at the time was full of sinus and fear, especially in crowded places. So I was not good at communicating at all. So therefore, I started drawing everything all day and had fun in my own world. My favorite friend, is drawing all types of princess in the world, then hanging pictures all over the world in my bedroom. And I read a lot of you know, stories of prince and princess at a shrine. I will I always yearn to be like a princess who would be absolutely loved and, and praised. I dig other artworks such as singing, dancing, and I became really well known in my school for these talents. I was on the school musical team, participate in many singing competitions, and often perform at other schools and different venues. Um, this thing has nourished me, uh, the artist, uh, artist soul inside of me who is always loving beauty and art. And it's also helped me understand that I am an emotional, inner, and passionate girl. This is an image of Aphrodite. Uh, so in my childhood, also a combination between Artemis and Demurder, um, because you know, um, I consider myself as an Artemis because I'm not able to free myself without studying during the day. I had always held the role of vice monitor during my school years and for me at that time, achieving high academic performance and ranking at the top is my aspiration is the most important thing. And as the Demeter girl, I was very fond of creative baby dolls in my arms and the baby dolls is the most uh, amazing gift that I want to receive on all my birthdays and we wish everyone know. And I nursed them, made them close, fed them, bathed them, and talked to them like my own children. Uh, I am so eager to babysit for my neighbors. So people often bring their children to my house so that I can take care of them while they, they are the way. And they were very research of me. And I personally will act as a noble 
flexible test. I used to take care of my uh, newborn babies until they were three years old. And therefore I am completely experienced in taking care of baby without the experience of pregnancy or child raising. Uh, children are quick to get close to me and I also love the feeling of being with a try and take, take, talking to them. Um, so this is the picture you are seeing is me at only in the middle adolescence who is possessed by Aphrodite or the, or the goddess. I start going to school afraid away uh, from home and, and, and this was a great opportunity for me to experience my liberal life to do it freely without being forced by outside circumstances. No more fear of making mistakes or being in church and criticized, even being stubborn or disobedient sometimes. Uh, this personality tends to be ethnic archetypes, I think. And I love being who I am and focus doing what I like, seeing I had no, not much time playing with friends at a stride. And I begin to step out of my old series and reserve work to blending with the people around me. I became extroverted, like together and socialize with friends. These new things bring me a lot of happiness and fragrance, gain more social skills and even improve my communication skills. I also started having a feeling of crush on someone. <laughs> um, so in late, in late adolescence, I apparently start to change mostly in Atomist archetype. That's worse when I entered university, I became financially independent in paying, in paying the rent and our trains. Um, I started to be responsible for my own life without anybody's help. I work harder in both academic achievement and income and no, no longer willing to take time to attract any kind of relationships. I keep my concentration on how to update myself better in both my set and body. I became more interested in reading books which were not considered as things I liked before. I am constantly searching to learn more about the world and my curiosity never ceases to stop me. I found a new community to discuss various topics in a professional and knowledgeable manner. And at that time, I was constantly looking for a chance to study abroad with the desire to integrate in an international environment. And finally, I am here as a UW and after studying for two years at UW, I, I know more about myself, my weakness and strongness, and never stop bounding my limits. I keep an Artemis um, attitude in my mind as always and become closer to getting to know this world each day and is um, inspire me to stay strong in any top situation by all the beautiful schoolmates about their old hard stories. And I, I am willing to stand up, raise my voice and having fears when needed against the unfair way anyone treats me or with people around me. So that's all about my presentation. Thank you so much for hearing us and everyone. Thank you. Very good. Okay, you can uh, uh, go back. Very good. Any questions or comments? We could have, you know, a couple if people want to speak. Yes, Professor. I just wanted to say that. Um, it was very well, uh, you know, structured, very well designed. And uh, from this presentation, actually, I got to, you know, closely know, like, oh my God, you have such potentials, or oh my God, you have such kind of, you know, goddess characteristics. And, you know, when we discussed in the class, it was like, it was imaginary, but now it's like, it's turned into something like beautiful. We can actually closely view it through your pictures, through your, you know, every story connecting to it. So it was very nice. Um, you again it's very nice i i guess i was amazed at how much you changed i mean wow you know you really changed already quite a bit Thank so, you. that's amazing um marzia what would you like to say uh professor i want to say that it was really amazing and the way that you pre presented and available design the 
slide uh, and presentation. And the other thing that was really amazing for me that from her childhood to her adulthood, she had very well explained that the way she slowly changed and the way that the archer archetype and the goddesses archetype that she take for herself and the combination. So it was really amazing. Congratulations, Trin. It was really nice. Yes. And uh, yes, you all need to realize how talented all of you are. It's very aw awesome. Um, okay, Marzia, why don't you go next? Uh, professor, uh, my slide, like the, uh, a few last slides are, are not completed. So if, okay. Is it All right, we won't, we won't get through everybody. So um, let's see, Kasturi wanted to wait. Um, ja Jacinta, are, are you there? Um. Yes, Professor. Uh, can I uh, present a little bit later? Can you what? Can I present a little bit later? Maybe, maybe we'll just see. I, I mean, if everybody wants to wait, then we have to, I have to start pushing people. But um, what about Janifa? Okay. All right. What about Habiba? Yes, Professor. Professor, I'm not ready today. I will give next time. Okay. I hope we have enough for this time. We have another hour and 10 minutes. So, um, Risti, what about you? Yeah, Professor, I also need some time. Well, not good. Uh, this is not not good, guys. Um, Rahima. Sorry, ma'am, I wasn't able to like present uh, because uh, like there's preparation for going the campus for me and also like I, I was not ready how to do it so now I get how to do it actually. Okay, Fayaza, are you ready? Professor, sorry, I didn't finish my uh, presentation, but I finished my paper. Uh, okay, so Shall I might like... to next class. Well, so you don't have a PowerPoint. Uh, I have. It's not completed. That's me. Okay, well, we'll see because ma'am, without PowerPoint, I can go like uh, whatever I have written. I in my mind, I have okay, can good. I go without presentation. Okay, well, let me just finish up here and see if there's some more, and then I'll go back to you. And that would be good, I'd appreciate that. Yeah, so no, yeah. Professor, I will do it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Shall I? Well, why don't I call on the rest of the names and see how long that takes us? Does that make sense? Yes, Professor. Yeah, okay, let me just see now. Sauda, did you say you don't want to go today? Uh, hello, yes, Professor. I want to give my presentation in the next class. All right, I'm going to have to start knocking off points, you know, unless there, there are a few of you have really good reasons, which I understand. But this is what happens, you know, everything falls apart if people don't, you know, go to try. Um, all right, so Taslima, are you ready? Not Professor, I would be in that next class. Any particular reason? <laughs> okay, so, all right, Toma? Um, yes, ma'am, I can go. Okay, good. But I'm a little bit sick today, so. Okay, I can I'll talk forgive to you for Bisti. that. Yes, ma'am. So, Bisti, can you able to share the screen? Yep, you should be able to. Bisti, can you hear me? 
I can hear you. No. Yeah, oh, okay. so Bristi. Okay. Stop sending an email, right? Yeah. Yes. So Bristi will present later. Yeah. Okay, Toma, go ahead. No, ma'am. Bristi yeah, will so share busy. my slides. Oh, because yes. I I am using phone and it is little tap okay. to share the screen. Okay. Go ahead, Bristi. Ma'am, give me. Okay. It's fine. <clears throat> Yeah, exactly. So did Toma send you her slides? Yeah, but yes, I got it. Okay. It's just taking time for nature. Uh, Okay, Bristi, is it taking time to load or what's the problem? No, it's okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna just, you can put it on hold, Bristi, and we'll move on and then you will come back to you, okay? Um, Fatima. That's all right, just, just get it all set up and when we get to you, that'll be great. Um, Fatima? Yes, Professor. Professor, I'm not able to present today because of another assignment list. <laughs> okay. I yeah. yeah. Professor. Um, yeah. Um, can I go? Oh, sure. I thought you had, I thought you were one of the ones that told me you couldn't, but yay, bravo, I'm glad. Good. Um, good morning, everyone. So the goddess and, and so the goddess and Jim may uh, the similar uh, archetype is uh, passed to me. Here is the picture uh, for past me. So what we understand and that uh, and to what we consider uh, archetype by past uh, past me. Uh, Pastephony archetype uh, is in a woman soul uh, predisposes uh, a woman not to be ate but uh, by others to be uh, compliant uh, in action and passive in attitude. Uh, Pastephony was a carefree and uh, gathered flowers and played with her friends. Uh, had it uh, took her screaming uh, and carried her back to the underworld to be his unwilling bride. 
she has two aspects as the core and queen of the underworld. So the similarity I found me with Stephanie, one is strength and another is love. I believe my great achievement is strength and I may hear about my desires to fulfill. I provide all my strength by hard work to reach my goal. Actually, I, my strengths uh, let uh, um, people see I took pride in every task I perform. I will complete all tasks given to me. This will help me be promoted in my career. And for love, I consider that the desire to create is not inspired exclusively by the physical beauty so commonly associated with past Once Once Bolan said, anyone who has ever fallen in love with a person, a place, an idea, or an object focuses on and takes it in with Pastephony. So I have gotten so used to only being able to rely on myself and I didn't think that I could ever rely on anyone else for support. So for future aspects, I hope that I can grow to be at, at speech with who I am. And I hope that my fear of my self-acceptance does not keep me from reaching my full potential. I hope that the past doesn't cripple my changes of making the most out of my future. And I'm hopeful to work on the issues rooted in my formative years for the rest of my life. Thank you. Okay, so I just have a couple questions. First of all, when you said you're strong and you achieve and you're organized and you're gonna have career goals, Persephone is not strong. She doesn't have career goals. She's the most passive of the goddesses. So Artemis is the one who's strong and determined and has career goals, Artemis and Athena. So I, I wasn't quite clear about that. And then the one on love, you were quoting from Aphrodite, that she's the one that when you fall in love with an idea or whatever, an idea or uh, when you fall in love with a, a person, an idea, you're inspired by Aphrodite to cr be creative. So um, I'm not quite sure what you had in mind. Um, do you want to just clarify why you would have picked Artemis for, I mean, Persephone for strength? Persephone was wounded. And so she gained strength from healing from her wounds. But that's kind of, that's not pretty much what you said. And on the other hand, if... <laughs> you know, there was some wound that you had that you really don't want to make public. I really don't want to interfere, right, with that. So, um, so if, but um, do you understand what I'm getting at, though? Persephone was really passive, actually.
Does that make sense? Actually, Professor, I thought that uh, uh, for uh, Pastor Funi, uh, her mother uh, uh, cared uh, uh, so much uh, for her. So this strength uh, come um, um, uh, and this strength and love come um, um, for uh, our, our inspiration uh, that uh, uh, for future to uh, Oh, grow uh, and um, uh, if we get the love and uh, a strange inspiration from our parents so we can uh, and uh, and uh, we can uh, be uh, successful in our life so i choose uh, pastor for me that uh, the pair uh, and, and this uh, strong and love uh, that she got from her parents she, uh, and she uh, we consider she uh, as uh, as a uh, uh, as a um, uh, uh, architect uh, so i choose it why don't you just reread the part about persephone because persephone herself doesn't love that much she she turns into the kind of person that some man wants her to be. And so she's pretty passive. So, um, you know, I just think that uh, mothers will love their Athena daughters or their Artemis daughters. I mean, mothers love all their daughters, no matter what type they are. The thing about Persephone is that there's a wound there. Persephone was wounded. And so the mother is, anyway, you could just look at that and um, look at the fact that Demeter is the one who loves her children. That's not um, Persephone. And then if it's being loved, then that's Persephone, the goddesses are defined not not by who loves them, but by who, what they love. So that's okay. I mean, I'll, I can read it and I can write comments, but if you'd like to, to look at it again, just read over the chapter on Persephone um, because I don't think strength and like that fierce kind of love, the mother love, that's not Persephone. That's kind of the opposite of Persephone, but we could talk about it some other time. It's all right. Again, I don't want to. I don't want to act like I'm a specialist, but I do think there are differences, and things will fall into place if you, you know, if and it just doesn't seem to me that strength and passionate love for a child fit into Persephone very well. But why don't you reread it and we can meet, you can have a conference with me and I'll read your paper and we can talk about it. So that's, that's fine. Um, all right, so, all right, where are we? Let's see, we have, uh, is Fatima, did she wanna, I can't remember what Fatima said. Do you Professor, wanna I can hear you now. Oh, Risti, go ahead, Risti. For, for Toma. Oh, for you ready to present for Toma. Okay, that's great. Okay, Toma. Can you see? It's coming. Okay. All right, so it doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> yeah, I think for the network. 
Okay, well, let's just okay. see. We might have enough other students reporting to finish the class. I'm not sure, but. Uh, Professor, uh, why don't, uh, why doesn't Thomas he, uh, send out an email to other students? Maybe she can send it to me and I can present for her. I mean, I can share the screen for her. Okay, you wanna try, Thomas? Um, yes, Kasturi, I'm trying. Okay. Seems like the network is so slow. I think Beastie, you can mm -hmm. stop the sharing. I'm sending. Also, till then, I think other students they can go. Stop? Okay, Beastie, why don't you stop the share? Reese? Yeah, Professor, I have stopped it. You did? Okay. It doesn't say that you did. It says that it's still doing it. So <laughs> that's weird. Okay, we're stuck. Reese, we're stuck. It still says you're sharing. Okay, good. All right. Kasturi, did you get it? Kasturi, I already sent you the email. Did you get it? Yes, Professor. I'm, I just received it. I'm working on it. <sighs> oh, so. Okay, so let's see. Who do we have? All right, so we're going to go to Pooja and we'll come back to you, Kasturi, okay? Uh, Pooja? Uh, Professor, I, the slides are ready, but yeah, she can go first. Yeah, let's just let Pooja go. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. So everyone can see the slides, right? Yes. Uh, good morning, everyone, and hello to Professor. So today, today the topic I kept myself as a as a, a goddess, which will be identified later in the presentation, and the goddesses that we have studied in the classes. So, um, so uh, moving uh, before moving to the presentation, so the chapters we have discussed in the classes and the strengths and weaknesses of each course and the ways they can be inspiration to us. We humans have been driven by the desires, passions, obsessions, but are distracted by the, uh, distracted and misdirected and perverted in many ways. Thus figuring out the possible ways to active in one of the regions in a right way to the right degree at the right time is what is the art of living. And this is why my first learning from this course specifically being a woman is that. In each of the classes, I was comparing myself with each goddesses. Uh, and the person I, I am, I could be, and I want to see myself in the futures and the uniqueness in me. I was not sure if I could be totally matched from each of the goddesses, but there were some features or the natures or the specialties which I could see similarities with each and every goddesses that we have studied, which were. The Artemis, Demeter, Apollo, Persephone, Hestia, and Sophia and Athena. And 
since I am uh, everyone in this class is maybe in the phases where our mind is very unstable and the body and mind not be in the same places at this stage. I, uh, I was questioning a lot uh, within myself and the, uh, you know, natures and uh, characters which I have and finding the purpose of my life and finding the purpose of my name even. So I thought of why not writing uh, something where I will be comparing all the goddesses in the classes which were discussed and the goddesses in me. Thus, in this uh, paper, I will be discussing the goddesses that I think match with the nature abilities and passions and inspiration that I'll be getting from all the readings. I'll try to find out the kind of nature of person I am, characteristic that matches with different goddesses, women, and the ways I can find a unique goddesses in me. And I will be discussing the different goddesses from the assigned readings and compare myself so that I can find a kind of goddesses in me. So we discussed, we started the discussion from ancient treaty and seven goddesses. Uh, and I felt like uh, the Artemis, the characters that she possesses, uh, was so independent and spirited journey. And I thought like my journey of education and the journey of myself of 28, 23 years have made me some characters that she possesses also. Similarly, Demeter, the goddess of fertility, woman and earth. However, she is, uh, she, she has some similar uh, characters with the, uh, goddesses of under one so i i find these two kind of you know similar in a uh, similar uh, kind of but they let me know the importance of motherhood because you know like we all are mothers i mean we are uh, women and in future anyway we're gonna be a mothers so she made me they both made me the importance of motherhood so I felt like the character we poses over here can be masked. Similarly, Apollo, the god of reason and woman who influenced to revolve around the music and poetry, where I compared myself, where I have a great interest in art. I do painting and I thought like Apollo inspires me here. And that's why I can be a uh, and I can have a nature of Apollo somewhere. And then I thought like, why I can't compare myself with Apollo as well here? So that's why Apollo and Hestia, uh, the reflective con con conscious and goddess of hearth and home and truly symbol of hospitality. So I thought we, not only being a woman, I felt like we all had this kind of uh, sense of hospita hospitality. And I felt like I can have some both, uh, characters of her as well. So yes, Hestia can be a part of mine too. Similarly, Sophia, goddess of wisdom, an archetype of spiritual wisdom of women spiritually in circles, which is viewed as a divine feminine. So. She reminds me the phase of I am in and the maturity of within me and how responsible I am compared to last year. So within the time we women forget to praise our worship and knowledge of women divinity, it always neglect, neglecting me of women spiritual authority in the society, but have inspired me to fight, stay strong, positive without suppressing myself. And lastly, Athena. The goddess of, I, I would say everything. She possesses the characters of wisdom, courage, inspiration, civilization, mathematics, strength, strategy, and many more skills. So I felt like however Athena is, you know, all, I mean, like has many uh, characters or natures, but I felt like I do pose uh, poses a lot of uh, characters with other goddesses too. And as we have been taught that, you know, we, we, we might not have all the talents or strengths. 
since we 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 never have been like uh, we are judged by perfectness but like you know we should find the perfectness in within ourselves so i felt like uh, we can learn and get inspired from many followers as well as they inspire us in many ways but we need to find our inner strengths and choose and find out the uniqueness goddess within you i believe our god in goddesses and our strengths and weakness is what makes us so that's how i think that makes me a goddesses within me i uh, i think professor that's all about my presentation thank you okay very good. <laughs> okay. All right. So why don't you end the screen share and then other sure. comments or questions? Yes. Any, any questions? I think we have time for people to have comments or questions. It was a good presentation, but uh, Pujati, I didn't really like specifically found what was your childhood and how how now you are. Okay. So uh, I since I wrote the paper and uh, I have kept myself in a place where I have discussed everything. Uh, within a papers uh, from the beginning and I felt like professor knew it so I, I told like the journey of my education and the independent life that I have so basically I uh, I have been raised by, by my parents where they never forced me to do anything like if I want and if I think that's good. They have always uh, you know pushed me to do that and if they find you know the journey would be hard they have always avoided me from for that so uh, the journey of my life to uh, what i am today is uh, because the freedom that my dad and mom gave to me and the learnings i have got from over the time has made me the woman i am so i felt like you know uh, linking it with the uh, topic of my today's presentation I felt like you know everyone possesses uh, goddesses or god within themselves so when you find you know when we pray we close our eyes and we pray like god please do that for us or something like that because we think that we we imagine god within ourselves and that's why we pray in a hope that we will they will or the God that we you know, are used to pray will make something better for us. So I find like God are within ourselves and that's why we pray. So, and my mom has always taught me this, that whenever you feel something bad in yourself or you want peace in yourself, just close your eyes and you'll find God within yourself. So that's why I felt I, the, the topic of my presentation was Puja and the goddesses because I find myself as a goddesses sometimes and that's what makes me what I am. Thank you. Um, sorry for the interruption. Yeah, so no, it's more I clear. think... I think, uh, Puzadi, the question was, how was your childhood? I mean, um, since most of the students, they presented uh, regarding how they were as a child and they compared themselves with the goddesses. And your presentation was, was quite different from them because you uh, did uh, an analysis of the goddesses that you have studied about and yourself. So... I think question of someone was how was yes. your childhood because so, he did not get it through your presentation. I'm so sorry if I am wrong. No, it's fine. So what I keep myself is like the phase I am. So uh, like not uh, comparing my childhood. So I keep my phases and the questions I have been raising within myself about the person I am. So uh, not much highlighting about my childhood, but keeping a thing in mind but what I am going through in this life, I mean, in this phase of my life. So talking yeah. about my childhood was not much interesting in compared to the person I am becoming. So that's it why was, I- That's okay, Pooja. They were just curious, like, 
No, it's fine. We will meet someday and we'll discuss about it, ladies. Anyway, we are meeting in January. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Actually, I got to a point. You are a more like dedicated and determined person. I got to that to a point. Actually, you was right. Um. Yes, I. I am, but like I'm kind of person who is very curious about my life, about the life, and kind of person who wants to know a lot of things. Uh, and my mom always says, like, if I am today here. She doesn't know where I am to today. I mean, like tomorrow. So that's what I am, and that's uh, I'm kind of like curious kind of person in comparison to dedication. But I'm very hardworking in comparison to other work. Yeah, well, you guys can meet in a separate Zoom meeting. <laughs> and yes, we there. can we can have a talk. I mean, like some someday. Yeah. That's great. I mean, that's what you would do on campus, you know, if you yes, were all definitely. there. So, yeah. okay. Um, Amina, do you have a presentation? Amina? Um, professor, if not, uh, can I share this screen for Toma? Sure. Okay. I don't know if Toma's thing just isn't working. I don't know. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Very good. Yes. Yeah. So thank you, Kasturi, for helping me. Okay. So hello, ma'am. Hello, everyone. So now I am going to talk about uh, me and the goddesses who is similar with me. So this next slide. So the qualities that I have been including kind, caring, strength, confident, compassion, and vision of my career. And those qualities are matched with the goddess Athena, Aphrodite, and Hestia. So then move to the next slide. So the goddess Athena and me. So we know Athena was the goddess of wisdom, independence, courage, inspiration, confidence, law and justice, strength, then great, she was a great warrior and uh, art and craft. And then also uh, we know Athena was the, also called the, um, she was also referred as a father daughter and a skilled strategist. And uh, here I wrote my qualities that match with Athena, like independent, confident, and strength. So as I, con as I consider myself as independent because, um, uh, because after my birth, I got independent from my parents uh, and my father, who is one always supported me in my everyday life when I face any difficulties in my life. My father uh, helps me to overcome those situations. And uh, that's why I wanted to make my career as my father. And um, I consider myself as independent. Then I considered myself as confident, uh, uh, as a, a goddess Athena, uh, because um, before came coming at AUW, I faced uh, some diff difficult conditions in my life be be because of my community. Um, because where I live, uh, the people think that uh, um, think that uh, the community, many people make some rules and regulations for women and uh, the community people think that um, women who goes, uh, women do not have the priority to complete her higher education for go outside and do any job outside. And they also make the rules that women should only need to learn the housework and the care, uh, they need to take care of their children and family. And that is enough for women. And um, they wanted two men to perform according to those rules. So it was very difficult for me to continue my studies as I want. Um, though it was very hard, my parents' support increased my confidence level and uh, gave me the power to deal with my community for my education and the other girls' education. Um, 
and uh, they were trying uh, many ways to convince my though the community uh, people trying many ways to my parents to stop my studies um but uh, my parents do not uh, um um the, uh, listen their thoughts and uh, then encourage me to um go outside for my higher um, for my uh, degree and um, i think if that time i i will um i lose my uh, self confidence so i'll be not able to uh, continue my studies so i that's why i consider myself as a strength and confident okay. then move to the next slide um then goddess afforded and me so as we know goddess afforded was the goddess of wisdom love beauty sexuality creativity vision career protective nurturing mother and uh, and uh, the qualities that match with uh, Aphrodite and me like uh, vision career protective and creativity so i consider myself as a vision career and uh, though it i though it at past i was not a vision career but uh, after coming at aw i have uh, now i am trying little bit to um, think about my vision and my career goals um, and uh, i am protective i always want to support um, um, anyone and help them to um, reach out their problems and their difficulties uh, during my childhood and also now then i have some creativity like uh, sometimes i am uh, doing uh, some hand paintings and uh, sell with uh, sell uh, in my community which was uh, that's why i consider myself as a creative person then move to the next slide here the goddess hestia and me so hestia was the goddess of content compassion love kind caring and forgiving and the and my qualities that similar with goddess hestia like kind caring forgiving and compassion so I say I consider myself as kind and caring person because I always wanted to help anyone to overcome their situation. When anyone faces any difficulties, I can help them physically or financially. Before coming to AUW, I was teaching some students in my home and I did not take uh, any fee from them. The students who I teach um, all uh, from very poor background and they do not have enough money to run their studies and that time i helped them uh, help some students who wanted to stop their study due to their financial situation as a student it was not easy for me to help them but i just asked for money from my father by giving some uh, excuses for my own studies materials and spending that money uh, on those children who face difficulties in their studies and uh, i also helped them by giving some books clothes and uh, foods and so on so i have a dream that um, uh, i after complete my higher education i will go back my community and make a school for the children who do not have the ability to um, run their education and i i hope i will uh, fulfill my dream and help them to overcome their difficulties so that's why i consider i consider myself as a kind caring and uh, um, i consider myself forgiving and compassion because when uh, someone do cheated with me or like uh, some rude things and uh, they glad uh, they try to convince me so that i'm easily i can forgive them um, for their works then move to the next slide. So as a summary or conclusion, I believe that the qualities that I have and match with the goddesses will help me in future to fulfill all my dreams. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. And thank you everyone for your kind attention. That was worth waiting for, Toma. <laughs> Does anybody want to ask a question or a comment? Um. Professor, I'm. I'm. Uh, I mean, I felt so glad to hear uh, what she spoke in the presentation, stating that uh, she is a kind of individual who is really into helping out people. And uh, so, uh, as a child and as an adult, I am also an individual who uh, seeks to help 
people. Uh, so I'm actually uh, willing to help out orphan kids and other helpless kids in the society. So actually I am also a general secretary at AUW Social Service Club. And uh, I'm not really sure whether Toma is a member of that club or not, but then if she is, then I am looking forward to working with her in helping out kids in Bangladesh when I come to AUW. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Very okay, good. Kasturi, I will contact with you. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you can connect in your groups here. Some of yes, the UG3 yes. might actually have some groups. They want the other ones to join. Um, yes. But Toma, I was thinking, if you want to, if you like children, you're focused on children, you might consider Demeter also as an archetype. It depends upon, you know, how, if, for example, you might want to set up the school and you think of it as a management problem, that would be Athena, or you think of it as a success, you focus on these kids have to get successful. And so that would be Artemis. But if you're focused on just nurturing children, you know, and that's what draws you into doing it, then that would be Demeter. If you're more like Apollo, like science and knowledge saves the world, then you're going, starting a school because science is such a, a savior, you know, scientific knowledge. So anyway, you could think about that Toma, like what is it that, what, how do you see the forming of the school? What drives you the most? How do you envision it? Um, yes, ma'am. Okay, good. I Did you understand what I'm getting at? Yes, ma'am, I got Okay, you. and that, see, that explains the different obstacles. Like a woman like, who is Athena would start the school, but if a lot of the kids are like have mental illness or something, she wouldn't be very patient with that. Like you're supposed to go out there and you know succeed and change the world, and you're you know you're wounded. What is this? So that's the kind of thing is that if you can figure out what really was behind the way you envision the school then you can then anticipate these other things are going to happen and um how are you going to deal with that right bring in some counselors yes. or something right um, yes, ma'am. thank you the, the reason i think about that honestly is that aw you know is was founded and the founder wants you all to go out in public health and bioinformatics and he really focuses on stem a lot and then i start teaching these students and actually you know they have psychological issues they've overcome things a number of them you know have, are wounded like they're they're human beings you know <laughs> So, I mean, they're getting pulled out of their families. I mean, they need counseling, for example. There were no counselors. And, and that just, I, I think they had a full-time and that went to part-time. And so the founder thinks of the school one way, but he doesn't remember that the students are like, they have a heart, <laughs> they have feelings. They care about friendships and, you know, anyway, it's, it's just kind of funny. But if you could avoid making those mistakes by anticipating that all of these things are going to be a part of the organization, that would probably help you be more effective and uh, you'd be happier and everybody at your school would be happier. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, who else? Amina, are you there? And then I think, Bristi, were you going to present today? Bristi? Okay. No, ma'am. She said earlier that she yes. will not be able to present today. Well, actually, she said she would present later, but Rahima, would you like to present? Because I'd love to have you present. Yeah, ma'am, but I said that I didn't prepare the presentation, so I can go without the uh, PPT. 
Uh, is this okay? Actually, that's why I was going to ask Christy first. And then, okay. Okay. Christy, did you want to present? She, what I had read in the chat was just later on in the class, I thought. Professor, but it seems like my network is so slow. Um, did you want can to? Have, uh, Bristy, we can actually hear you. So if you have your slides, you can email to us and we can present, we can share the screen for you if you are willing to do. But is my voice is clear or not? Yes, it is. Uh, are you ready, Christy? Uh, I mean, no one I'm presented right now. You're if not one ready. Do first, maybe after the time. Okay, Professor, so, we can let Rahima go first and Bristi can present right. after that. Okay. Bristi, you can uh, you can send me an email with your slides and I can share that for you. So Amina, could you send your slides also to somebody and they can do the screen share, Amina? She says her Wi-Fi isn't working. Does that mean, can she send any stuff if the Wi-Fi is not working? I don't know. Anyway, okay, so let's do Rahima. No, I Professor, she cannot. Okay. okay, so let's do Rahima and then Bristi and then Fayaza. If we still have time, she can go without her slides. Is that all right? We got it? All right, Rahima. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Okay. Hello everyone, sorry that I didn't prepare my PPT and welcome here yeah, to listen to me. Okay, so I, uh, as I like uh, analysis myself and the goddesses, I found that like uh, the goddesses I most relate is Athena and Hestia. It's because like I found my childhood and my nature is mostly about Hestia. She's like, like caring, loving and self-oriented girl and uh, so, uh, actually self-family-oriented uh, girl. So I have that kind, kind nature from the very beginning. Like I was a girl, like, uh, like I, I fear to do any naughty work. Like I thought if it is a, if it would be a, a work that uh, will hurt other, like I was that kind of girl, like uh, that much kindness I would have, I would say. And I think that's my, actually it's my strength. I don't think it's a weakness. And uh, for the like vision career and for the stubbornness actually uh, in my childhood i also have a stubborn nature like this is actually from athena i think like athena is the girl who has a stubborn nature for anything she determined to do like i i i can tell you a story from when i was a fourth standard i got a like uh, i got a bad poor mark in my mathematics exam and then I, uh, my teacher called me and like explained me that you should do better in the next exam. And then I studied so hard for math that before the next exam, I just memorized all the maths from the books. Like I have to do good in the math in the next uh, exam. That was uh, like my determination. And then in the next exam, I got 100 out of 100 in mathematics. So I think I was a, that kind of uh, girl. And also like Athena, I am the first uh, first daughter of my, my parents and my father loved me the most. And I can share another story when I realized how much my father loved me and trust me. Actually, one day we family members were sitting together and discussing about the properties that my father had. And that time my father like told me that Rahim, like I also have a younger brother, like in our, the society I live here is a, like a family, uh, male dominated society, everything goes like a uh, man after man. But one day my father told me that Rahima, listen everything carefully. Like you are the one who will uh, take care of everything after me. So I felt uh, like it was an overwhelming moment for me that my father, how much trust and think I'm much able than, than my brother. brother. So that was really uh, affected me a lot and inspired me to do more uh, good in my study and in my career. And at the same time, uh, as the uh, like kindness nature I have from Hestia, I think 
uh, that nature has like uh, instruct me to do a, a good work in future. As I shared earlier that I have a, a great motivation to build a health foundation for uh, those kids in our society who like are not able to study. So I think my nature, kindness nature from Hestia has followed me with the Athena, Athena's life to lead. And uh, at the same time, I'm afraid that as I am a family oriented and self oriented girl, if I uh, ever like, uh, if I ever uh, like marry or uh, like, I actually don't have intention to marry because I think that's the thing that could like stop me like uh, make a boundary for me that thing if uh, like as I am, I think that's my weakness for my family or that's why I'm afraid that I don't want to actually marry or have their child and have child. That's all ma'am. Okay. Okay. Sorry for not giving a formal presentation. That's all right. That's okay. Sorry. okay. Everybody clap. All right. So you have questions. Anybody have a question? Uh, no questions? Well, Rahima, you said um, you were stubborn like Athena, but Hestia was also independent minded, okay? <laughs> She like sometimes when Sorry, think, I didn't hear your question. Okay. So sometimes when you think of stubborn, you think of a kid will, you know, say no, you know, and they'll they'll show you that they're being stubborn. But Hestia is independent minded, but she not, might not, you know, she might not I, I no ma'am, I said that so uh, like uh, like that quality was from Athena, right? I know. Uh, being that's, a why I girl. Was, that's why I was thinking that you might also be independent minded like Hestia. Um, if yes, you... I am. I think because ma'am, uh, from the very beginning, when I was a child, I was six years old when I uh, I lived, uh, I lived my parents actually. I, I, I was uh, four years with my grandparents. So I was independent from the very beginning. I didn't like thought that without my parents, how can I live? But like for my family, actually for my education purpose, I went to my grandparents without my parents actually. Yeah, that would do it, I think. Um, okay, yeah, you just had to learn how to function on your own. Okay, good. Um, anybody else have a question or a comment? All right, and then, were we going to do Breesty next? Yep, okay, fine. Okay. Fine, to share. I hope it's worth it. Oh. Can you see? There we go, yep, there, there it is. <laughs> Okay, so so uh, very good morning, all of you. And uh, now I'm gonna present about those goddesses uh, who have some similarities uh, with my behavior or archetype. So from that archetype, I have learned a lot, which will help me in my future uh, to build my career also. So the four goddesses I like most and uh, most natural uh, to me are Demeter, the goddess of fertility, uh, Artemis, the goddess of hunt and moon, uh, Athena, the goddess of wisdom, justice, and work, and uh, the last one is Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. So uh, at first, um, how I, I'm similar to Demeter, so when I was uh, in my school, my first younger brother uh, came to this art. Uh, although I didn't know about, I mean, um, how to take care of children at that time, but uh, even then I would love to do that. And I wanted to 
do all the work uh, that my ma uh, mother did to my brother. And uh, he was so little, uh, that's why my mother wouldn't let me to do that work. Uh, I mean, she got afraid of me. Uh, and uh, but when my second younger brother I'm born after uh, two years, uh, I become uh, a little bit uh, experienced uh, to take care of uh, children. And then as my own responsibility, I, mean, I used to do those uh, care with my mom or sometimes without uh, the help of my mom. So in this way, I have become uh, so mature in the sector of you know, uh, nurturing uh, like uh, Artemis and still I take care of my neighbor's uh, child properly and uh, love to do that work and also the babies feel more comfortable with me. Uh, I really like this characteristic of uh, Demeter because uh, it's also I mean uh, showing the great ability of women how a woman can balance her life with all these uh, responsibilities as well uh, as we can see that uh, in, in the making of uh, characters mothers play the most uh, important role uh, in their children's life and there are so many women who have to do job uh, and also take care of their family so Demeter will inspire them to nurture their children and also uh, look after her family and then next, I have Artemis, and uh, uh, who teaches about independence. In my childhood, uh, I never I refused someone to do any work. But uh, when I realized that, uh, uh, to I uh, mean, yeah, in the stage of adulthood, uh, I have to I have to be independent, and. Uh, uh, I mean, in my childhood, I did all the works without thinking the good or bad sides of, uh, of it. Uh, and, but now I have the a sense to identify good or bad tasks so I can do the uh, all works uh, independently. And I try to encourage all the women to become independent. As a result, they can reach their goal of life. If they would independent, they will be able to uh, face the patriarchal society. Mm, I do many meetings with girls and women uh, for increasing their enthusiasm. This will help the women to uh, recognize themselves properly that they can do anything and even better than men. Okay, then, uh, then Athena, uh, the third uh, goddess I like most, who inspire uh, asked to fight against injustice and I have always I mean, followed this pattern in my life uh, till now. I think archetype has occupied uh, my character the most I think and uh, why the I mean I realized that why uh, the women can't raise their voice or fulfill their dream because they aren't self-dependent and the root uh, of their failure is uh, the lack of education. They, they don't get proper education to gain knowledge and uh, women have to take uh, all the responsibilities of family and children when a man have also the responsibility. So I mean, why only the women have to do all the work? Mm. Okay, so oh, okay. the last goddess of me is Aphrodite. So Aphrodite is a love of, uh, sorry, the god, uh, goddess of love and beauty. And I am like her because I also do my old work with great pleasure as it makes my work uh, more easy than before. And more um, from my childhood, I like to sing songs and uh, do paintings uh, in all the cultural programs. Uh, I used to take part with great enthusiasm and I find great pleasure when I sing uh, and paint something. Also for me, love means uh, God. And yeah, so it uh, also relates me with God and increase my homage to God. 
so i really like the characteristics of aphrodite and uh, to combine all the goddesses archetype i think uh, to teach the women would be my first duty and uh, after graduation uh, and it's the education which can remove all the uh, bad thoughts about women that they are the inferior part of our society also education will help them to build a bright career as they wish so yeah i really want to work on this and uh, thank you all for listening to me okay you can stop the screen share there okay very good um questions or comments Mahira, is that a question or a clap? Clap. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I wanted to ask uh, for teaching women, are you teaching young girls, high school, adult women? What do you anticipate teaching? Um, I think, uh, I mean, all the women or also the young girls, I mean, the girls uh, who I mean, left their studies maybe after 10th grade. Okay. Okay. It okay. so will be high school and post high school. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, so, would you be teaching them uh, the skills that they need to go on and get jobs like a high school education, college? or high school mostly, just so they can get a job or career education or? I think I'm mean, getting the job, a high school education will be the um, better. And for the women, maybe I uh, also said before that, yeah, as their wish and okay. uh, how they can learn something. Right, it's just sort of, if you set up a I school, mean, you sort of, if you have a school, you set up a target yeah. audience and a target goal, you know, what's your ultimate, you know, what's the main focus of what you want to do? Yeah, Professor. I mean, I have the chance to, I mean, teach them. I mean, still now. Okay, that's great. So you've been doing things like that already. Yeah. That's great. That's very <laughs> good. Um, I think we're out of time. So I guess we did use all our time and I look forward to next time. And then we'll probably use all the time on that. So for your final papers, I'll ask you to, I'll require you to have a conference, individual conference with me. And then during final week, we will meet at some point, we can meet during the official final exam hour for you to present. It's just that hour is kind of early in the week, but we'll, we'll take it one day at a time at this point. So everybody who didn't present today must be ready <laughs> or I'll shake my finger at you. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Thank you, my friends. Yes, thank, thank you. you that was good. Thank you, Professor. Very See you. <laughs> bye bye. Bye, Professor. Bye bye. Very good. Thank you, ma'am. Bye bye, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So Kaula, you go next time. Amina, you go next time. Oops, turn off the recording. <laughs>